The oscilloscope is an instrument for visual observation of electrical change. It displays waveforms. It works as an eye for the electronics engineer. With the help of CRO, he can see what's happening in each part of the electronic circuit. CRO is basically a very fast XY plotter. It displays an input signal versus another signal or versus time. The heart of the oscilloscope is the cathode ray tube called CRT. The other stages of the instrument consist circuitry to operate the CRT and the high and low voltage power supplies. The high voltage stage provides extra high tension voltage at anode. It attracts electrons emitted from cathode. These electrons then strike on the screen at a very high speed. Horizontal stage in a CRO helps in horizontal deflection of the spot. It helps the engineer to observe wave shapes of different frequencies as per requirement. Horizontal stage also includes time-based generator and synchronization circuitry. Time-based and synchronization stage gives a stable wave shape on the CRT screen. Vertical stage is yet another important part of circuitry which makes the real wave shape on the CRT screen. This stage also decides the frequency response of the oscilloscope. A cathode ray tube, known as CRT, is the heart of an oscilloscope. A CRT essentially consists of three basic components. The electron gun, the deflection system, and the screen. The electron gun produces a sharply focused beam of electrons. The electron gun gets its name because it fires electrons at a very high speed, like a gun which fires high speed bullets. Internally, the electron gun looks like this. Electrons are emitted from the indirectly heated cathode. Control grid is a nickel cylinder surrounding the cathode. It controls the number of electrons passing through it 
and its main function is to control intensity of the beam. The electrons coming out of the control grid are accelerated by the high potential applied to the accelerating anode. The beam is focused to a very small dot on the screen by the focusing anode. The equipotential difference between focusing and accelerating anode cylinders form a shape like a convex lens. When the electron beam passes through this region, the electrons experience a force. As a result, the beam is converged to a sharp point on the screen. This is how the focusing looks like on the screen. The variations of intensity control connected to the control grid appears like this. The focused beam passes through the deflection system consisting of two sets of parallel plates. These are vertical and horizontal sets of deflection plates inside a CRT. If no voltage is applied to deflection plates, the beam should be at the center of CRT screen. Any voltage applied to these sets of plates moves the electron beam left, right, this is how the X-shift adjustment looks like left or right movement of electron beam on CRT screen. And Y-shift adjustment for up or down movement of beam. In the horizontal deflection stage first, internally generated sweep signal or sawtooth voltage goes to magnifying stage, then pre-amplifier to power amplifier and finally to the pair of horizontal deflection plates. For this reason, the sawtooth wave voltage is called time base voltage. In the vertical deflection stage, first input signal given to oscilloscope goes to input circuitry and to its attenuator, then to preamplifier. In case of double beam oscilloscope, these are two identical stages called channel 1 and channel 2. After channel selection, 
signal goes to delay circuit and this to set of vertical deflection plates after output amplifier. The large end part of this tube is called screen and is coated on the inside with a phosphor material. This material fluorescence when high velocity electron strike it, converting the energy of the electrons into visible light. If we apply a DC voltage to the horizontal deflection plates, the spot moves either to the left or to the right as per plate's polarity. Similarly, applying a DC voltage to the vertical deflection plates moves the spot up or down. If voltages are applied to both the sets of plates together, it is possible to place a spot anywhere on the screen. Let us see how the spot moves on the screen if we apply an AC voltage to the horizontal deflection plates. As the voltage varies sinusoidally with time, the spot also moves to the left to the right. Due to persistence, a solid line trace is obtained. If the AC voltage is replaced, by the sawtooth type, the electron spot moves from left to right at a uniform speed since the voltage is increasing linearly. It was not so in the case of sinusoidal voltage. When the voltage drops to the negative maximum after one cycle, the spot moves to the left almost instantaneously. In the next cycle, it again starts moving to the right with a uniform speed. Watch once again. In the center of the screen, we can get the figure displayed on the screen by considering the resultant displacement of the electron beam at different instants of time. Thus, points A, B, C, D, and E are obtained on the screen corresponding to the points A, B, C, D and E on the horizontal input wave. At point A, the sine wave voltage is zero. Hence, there is no deflection of the beam. We can get the figure displayed on the screen by considering the resultant displacement of the electron beam at different instants of time. Thus, points A, B, C, D, and E are obtained on the screen corresponding to the points A, B, C, D, and E on the horizontal input wave. 